Hey everybody, today is Saturday, September 10th, 2022, and we're here at the Allentown Lehigh Valley Toy Show. As I mentioned to you guys in yesterday's video, I was setting up for the show in yesterday's video, but today we're actually out here selling. I've been buying some stuff. I bought some um, Spice Girl things, which was pretty awesome. Found myself some, some movies. As you can see, there's a, there's a whole box of movies here. Picked up some movies earlier. Got some Spice Girl stuff off another guy, which is pretty awesome. So I've been finding a a few things, which I mean, for a guy who's not into collecting toys necessarily, with the exception of Figment and Spice Girls, and I guess some Laura and Dern as well, for a guy who's not really into collecting toys other than those things, I think I did pretty good here at the uh, the toy show. Definitely sold a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. The show was crazy, it was packed. There was a lot of people here shopping, a lot of people here selling their biggest show yet, over 200 vendors, they were telling me, which is insane. So this place was pretty amazing, and there's all kinds of stuff. As you saw in yesterday's video, there were a lot of empty tables. A lot of people haven't, hadn't actually set up yet at that point, but now you can see what this place looked like. Although a lot of people are cleaning up now because the show is coming to an end. But you can get an idea of how crazy and massive this place was and how big the toy show was. Again, tons of people selling stuff. Look at all the, the WWE figures. I was looking at some of the old school ones here, the WWF figures, because that's, I mean, that's my day right there. WW, I wasn't a WWE guy, I was a WWE. F guy back in the day. I still am a WWF man. I still I still love the old school WWF wrestling. Something about that like 80s, very early 90s wrestling. I was definitely into. Got some VHS. I miss I miss these. Police Academy and Ace Ventura. Awesome VHS tapes. I don't need those, but I miss those earlier. So again, tons of stuff here. All kinds of cars, t-shirts, tons and tons and tons of Funko Pops because, well, it's a toy show. Funko Pops are kind of inevitable at a at a toy show. You're gonna you're gonna find Funko. Even I have Funko Pops for sale at my stand. Look at all the Lego minifigures. I've been really, really looking for the Laura Dern minifigures. I really want a Vice Admiral Holdo and a Ellie from Jurassic World minifig, the minifigures, the Lego minifigures. I want those so badly, but nobody has them. I keep going to people who sell minifigures. Nobody has those. I've even been to a Lego store, an actual store in a mall that sells nothing but Lego sets and Lego minifigures and all kinds of stuff like that. And nobody had my Laura Derns. It was, it was quite sad. One of these days, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my Laura Dern minifigures someday. So we got a lot of cars here, lots of video games. I went through all these games here earlier. There was some stuff in there that I actually needed, but just I don't know for for the price. It's not that they, it's not that they were priced badly. I just, I don't know. If it's more than like five bucks. I'm kind of like, eh, to a video game. Unless it's something I really want. I don't mind paying like more for a video game that I'm like, okay, this is an amazing game. This I've been wanting for my collection. This is something I'm gonna play over and over and over again. But if it's just a game that I'm like, eh, you know, I, I, could, I could live without this game. It's not something I need and I wanna go, I'm gonna go a bit cheaper on the game. So I, I ended up passing on all those. More wrestling figures here. Look at these. Is, these are like the old LJN figures. That's awesome. I know this one's an old LJN figure. I used to have a Hulk Hogan. Yeah, brother. Brother used to own me. I, 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 love, I love all these toys. Toy shows for me are, are, are just a horrible, horrible thing. So it gets me really wanting to start collecting toys. Like I, I don't, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a toy collector. I don't collect toys. Again, with the exception of Spice Girls and Figment. That's, a, that's about it. And I have a Laura Dern, I guess, collection, if you will, as well. But again, that is all I collect as far as toys are concerned. But I come out to these places and I see things from my childhood. I see Ninja Turtles. I see the real Ghostbusters. I see, hey, how, how's it going? Hey, what's up, everybody? This guy sells a lot of awesome. I used to I used to spend way too much money with this guy back when I used to collect Funko Pops. That's why I, I stopped talking. That's to you. that's why I don't collect toys, and that's why I don't collect Funko Pops anymore. Because I spent way too much money with that guy back in the day. But I get I see all these awesome things, and I start wanting to collect them. All these toys from my childhood, all these amazing '80s and '90s toys. I'm like, I want I want all these. I want to own every single one of these toys and get them back into my life again. But I know better. Than to do that. That's actually why I started collecting Funko Pops back in the day, because my idea was, all right, I, I don't want to have like a whole collection of turtles. I don't want to have a whole collection of Ghostbusters. I don't want to have a whole collection of, of He-Man and all that stuff. I don't, I don't want to have collections of these things because I just don't have anywhere to put them. They're super, they're, they're, they're crazy, super expensive. So I'll just collect, you know, He-Man Funko Pops and, and Ghostbusters Pops and, and, and Ninja Turtle Pops. And then I'll have all these things I like from my childhood in Funko Pop form. It seemed like a great idea until I realized there's just 47,000 bajillion Funko Pops, and then I want them all. I mean, how much of this stuff is from my childhood? Dark Crystal, Back to the Future, South Park, we got Cat Dog, Batman, there's there's like Jeffrey the Giraffe. So, I mean, it's just tons of stuff from my childhood, and they keep pumping that stuff out, and it got way out of hand way too fast, and I had to stop, had to stop with the Funko Pops. Look at that Pez dispensers. I used to collect Pez back in the day as well. I had a, I had a huge Pez collection back before I ever collected movies. 
there's been a ton of pets. If you guys head over to my, my other channel, Cinema Sickness, you will see a whole thrifting video. I did a whole entire video here, thrifting, looking around, seeing what I can find, and you'll find out in that video that I came across a whole lot of Pez dispensers today. It seemed like every time I turned a corner, there were more Pez. It was like the, 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 the collecting gods, the thrifting gods were, were talking to me, telling me, you should get back into collecting Pez dispensers. But you know what? No, I shouldn't get back into collecting Pez dispensers. That sounds like a horrible idea. Look at this cool log truck. That's awesome. That is so cool. So many cool toys here. I want, I want all this stuff. I wanna, I'm gonna get all these toys into my life or back into my life and have an amazing toy collection, but I just don't have room for it. Look at all that turtles. I had so many of these back in the day. I was big into collecting TMNT back in the day. I had pretty much every single figure up until a certain year. I, I did eventually kind of stop collecting these. Some of the later figures, I never had some of the later figures, but pretty much everything from like the beginning up to like near the end of the, the turtles line, man, I had all of those things. I had, I had, I, I had like, um, tons of foot soldiers. I remember I couldn't, I couldn't just have one foot soldier. I remember I told my mom, I'm like, no, I need to have like an army of foot soldiers. So for Christmas one year, I got like 20 of the same exact figure because I, I just wanted, I wanted an army of foot soldiers for Shredder to, to have attack the turtles. That was my, that was my thing back in the day. I, man, I was so into to TMNT. Of course, I've been seeing a lot of Batman the Animated Series figures here as well, which was also something I was very much into. As a kid, I had tons of Batman the Animated Series action figures, and I've been seeing tons of those, and again, Ghostbusters, and all, all that stuff. Just tons and tons and tons of awesome figures and awesome toys and all kinds of cool stuff I want to pick up. But again, I'm going to be good, and I'm not going to do it. As tempting as it is, as tempting as, as a toy show is, as tempting as, as, as much temptation is here, calling my name, saying, Dave, buy buy everything buy buy all the games buy all the toys buy all the buy all the stuff from your childhood that you know you want back into your life as as much temptation as there is as much as it's calling me i'm good i've, I've been i've been good at all these toy shows i don't i don't buy any, any of this stuff as much as i want to buy all this stuff i don't buy this stuff look at the giant snorlax look at that how cool is that if that was a, if that was a charmander i'd be in trouble then i'd be then I'd be buying it. I'd, I'd be picking that up if that was a giant Charmander. I'd have to get that for, I don't know, my house somewhere, maybe the library somewhere, but all right, guys. So I wanted to bring you guys out to the toy show, let you guys know that um, it was a success. There's a ton of people here, like I said, shopping. A lot of people here vending as well. And I ended up selling a ton of stuff. I'm here with Chris. We sold a lot of stuff, made, made a decent amount of money. We did pretty good today for a, for a smaller show. I mean, this is actually considered a small toy show. There are toy shows I've been to that are a lot bigger than this. In fact, we'll be going one to one in just two weeks. In two weeks is uh, RetroCon, which is a huge retro, I, I call it a toy show. It's a big retro toy show. There's so much stuff there. That place is gigantic. It is insane. You guys will be coming out to me to RetroCon because it's it's a really fun time. So I'm looking forward to that. So for a smaller toy show that only goes at two o'clock in the afternoon, also kind of ends sort of early. For a smaller show, again, that ends early, we did very, very well, but it is coming to an end now, which means I have to go and pack up my entire table, which is not um, my idea of, of a fun time. I'm not a, not a big fan of, of packing everything up. That, that's the worst part of the toy show is that you gotta pack everything into your car and you have to unload your car and get everything unpacked at the toy show then get everything set up and looking good. And then after that's all done, you have to pack everything back up, get it all back in your car, unload your car, get it back into your house. It's a whole, it's a whole process and it's not, it's not much fun, unfortunately. Look at this, there's people actually shopping at my at my table, I'm looking at that. People looking at board games and all kinds of stuff going on here. Making the money. You make any money, Chris? I did. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Yeah, it, it, it was a it was a good day. There's a lot of people out here shopping today, which is awesome. So for we we're out we're out here in the the um, the hallway. I was a little worried. Thought I don't know how what the crowds are gonna be like yeah, out here. The crowds are great. Like one of the best spots. We do here. because right there is where you walk in and where you and, and where you leave. And turn around the other way. And we get the restrooms. The restrooms are right there. So, so they come out, <laughs> boom, we, we are right we've everybody, We've everybody coming in, we've everybody coming out, we've everybody coming, ma making, making stuff, making other stuff come out right right, right here. So we, we've got a pretty good, a good setup right here. But all right, guys, that's it. So I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the show, let you guys know we did very well today. Definitely a good show. If you guys see another one of these shows, definitely, they do these shows every couple of months. There's another one coming out in, was it, is it March? I'm not sure. I think it's, oh, what's that? I think there's another one of these shows. I'll keep you guys posted. There's, there's another one of these shows, I believe, in March, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I recommend you guys come out to it because it's a lot of fun. We'll, we'll be here. Retrocon's coming up. Retro I just said that. Retrocon's coming up in like two weeks. Get out to that. You having fun there with your uh, Pink Panther? Dun dun dun. 
Dun-dun, 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 dun-dun. Now that's stuck in your head, I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for all the different links to social media. Check down below for a link to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a monthly postcard out to you from the road. I pick up a postcard from the road and I mail it to you at the beginning of every single month. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself What's With Dave Today t-shirts. And I suppose, since he's here, check down below for a link to Muppet Stuff. Hey, wait, you're not gonna show your sticker? Sticker. Muppet Stuff. Check down below, for, I'll, put a link to, I'll put a link to him down below as well. You guys can check that out. So, all right guys, again, that is it. So as always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. If you did anything fun, interesting this Saturday, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you saw anything cool, if you went any, anywhere cool, if you saw anything interesting, tell me post a picture of it on social media and tag me in it. I wanna see what you guys did this weekend. I wanna see what kind of fun, interesting adventures you got yourself into, but all right, I'm gonna go. We gotta, we gotta go pack up now. I know, eh, so all right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Have a great day, bye.